Hey, what's up? Check one. Yep, yep. It's really coming down, man. Check one, two. Whatever my inconvenience is with cables, I can guarantee yours is probably 25 times worse. This kind of stuff I tend to like, I, I tend to bounce, I'm like, I'm not the best at interviews, but like I bounce back and forth between a lot of stuff. I can't express my words that well, comparatively to like music and stuff. This is, this I think really represents who I am right now. I think the story for me is that I've been chasing like, like I've been trying to figure it out. What is gonna make this band special? What is, and it's like, it's the whole reason we're artists is to get to know ourselves. The more I started embracing that, the more I started really enjoying it. And the more I started being like, this is, like I just started being present, yeah. you know? And that's sort of like the story for me of becoming an artist. Like I've always been an artist, but it's been, but not realizing that the whole time I've just been trying to like learn how to like get to know myself. I've been focused outward and I've just recently turned that inward. And that's been like the journey. Love yourself. Love yourself. All right. Love yourself. It's so like relieving. Like you oh, realize yeah. and you're like, oh, like, I love myself and like, and like what I'm making is unique to me and that's what's special. Once I like started understanding that, which I feel like it was sort of so late in the game, but it's taken me 10 years to get to a place where I like really understand that. And now that I understand that, I wanna just keep going deeper into that. Yeah, you put out your truest self, you're gonna get the truest reaction. And, and, if that, and that doesn't matter if it's 10 million people or you know 10,000 people, it's just, there's no other way to live your life. And, it's, and we've come to realize that over many years. A lot of the demos we've done are in the past and, and shit that just comes immediately and you like record, usually like it's like the best in that form in a way. And even though you replicate it and do a really good job at it, and it's still something in that, that first moment of creation that's always the, the purest and the most satisfying. These songs, that we're doing now are the closest thing to that that this band has ever done. But I think what's so special about this session right now and this recording is we've all, you know, been locked away in our homes for the last eight months. So like to come back like this um, and just like, like I hadn't seen Dan in like seven or eight months, which is crazy since like the album was supposed to come out. So when I saw him, I was like, you know, you run up to him, everyone, you know, and give everyone a good hug. And then you realize how lucky we are to have this time to make this music. We only have one week to record the rest of the music in the world. I think that we have an association sometimes to the recording studio, like there's something, like it's more serious than it is, but this is just a place we try to capture a moment. So the looser we are in here, the better the song's gonna be. <laughs> It's like when you fall back in with a friend you've been seeing in seven months and it's just like right where you left it. Like we hadn't practiced these songs in like, I don't know, a year and a half, two years or something like that. We just showed up and by the second or third take, you know, we were nailing them because it's like just born from our souls and that's what, this is what we're supposed to play.
These songs were written from in January 2017 where we started. We did like 10 days up at Hannah's uh, parents' house in Northern California. There wasn't anything else to do other than walk and be in nature and play music. We took all the furniture out of the living room and like brought in all our gear. But we'd start at like 6 p.m. and go till whenever it was over, like. Just standing in a room together and just like bouncing energy and like just madness off each other. And then eat dinner at like three in the morning or something, you know, but we'd just be in it and just get lost until the song like came out of that flow. It was also the first time as a band, you know, that we did like full on improvised jams and didn't write a song just to write a song. We just like said, you know, let's see what happens in 10 days. I think jamming is like, it just gives people time to like feel out a song collectively. You're not like finding your part, but you're finding your parts together. You're finding like a cohesive song. We listened to the demos that we recorded up there on the way back in the van. And I remember like feeling the energy in the van of like, of like, you know, the whole, holy shit, this is crazy. Richie, what do you think? That's yeah. the best. Okay, dude. That's the best one. Yeah, okay, cool. Sick. All right. So what's next? Open. 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 Open, yeah, yeah, for sure. Open, but like, do you want me to come in and push you around? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm coming in. Don't, don't push him onto the guitar, please. <laughs> I think the, I think the... We're ready. We're caressing. We're snuggled up. No. Yes. Yeah, Let's try it for just practice. Practice. Because whenever I fuck with Wesley, he does the uh, best but, takes. Well, like when you did, I really you know, feel like he, he, it's like we're playing around with thing? each other and he forgets, Wait. he knows the part so well. And then he just like plays it, but it's wilder. His instinct kicks in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, he just like plays wilder. It's like a survival instinct. Yeah. Like, I have to play this part. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can we hear that? Or is that too much? Yeah. Yeah, it's not like that. No, not blues, more like I might have to come in and hug you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's messy. It's. That's the one. I want to hum in your ear. Not in a weird way.
So good. Like, do we want to do that as long as they're tired right now? <laughs> it's a good one. You the know, mind. it's good when everybody's like, everybody in the room, shut yeah. up. In, yeah, instantly <laughs> is like, wait, well, what is that? When he was so, saying that? That's when you know it's good. That's, like, good that's crazy. Is there anything else that we did need to do that is subtle that we need to do in this market? Well, we were like doing all the like stuff you do normally at the end, which is like, oh, should I like overdub my guitar? Or like, should I brighten this? And I was like, dude, let's not lose this momentum. Let's just go in and play. And everyone's like, no, I'm too tired. Like, you should save your voice. Let's do it tomorrow. Well, I think we should jam it. I think we're going to. I, I think, think we really should build it. I think it's going to be a mess if we jam it, personally. I don't even want to try just to feel it. No, I think we're going to add too much shit. Wessie wants to jam it. Wessie, Wessie's on my team. Team Wessie! And I'm like, dude, let's just go see how it feels. Like, how good does it feel to play together? I know Wessie was like, yeah. We got a bunch of haters in there trying to fucking rip this. Oh, uh, I don't want any parts. Aggressive right jam. We no one wants to do that shit in there. Boring. Oh, right now. <laughs> yeah, Christian. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to persuade people yeah, in this band. You're just like, dude, we're gonna go play music. Let's go do that. <laughs> You know, we were a little, yeah, a little reluctant, but once we started it, it's like, this is so good. I think people were just like, it's a really high energy song. Like, we want to give it 100%. And I was like, let's go give it 100% then. <laughs> and we got in here and we did that. If an idea happens, or there's an energy, we just follow it. That's a lot of times comes from Christian or Hannah, you know, they, they just feel something. And it's worth following. Like that, that level of passion is worth following and seeing what comes from it. You guys ready to do a take? Oh, yeah, this is done! <laughs> Alright. Woo! <laughs> so we to see okay. Ready? Yeah. We recorded it the other night and we were all fired up. And it had been, it was like probably two in the morning. And we're all loving it, we're all listening back to it and Dan's in the corner with his head down and his hands over his eyes and we're like, fuck, is Dan, is Dan okay? You know, what's going on? And we kept looking at him and like we're all cheering and he's just like, and finally we're like, Dan, what's up, man? Come on, what's going on? And he's like, I yeah. can't say I love it. I gotta be honest. Oh, no! <laughs> we'll we didn't get it. This is not good enough. We can definitely beat this. It's like, everyone likes this but Dan, which I'm down with, because Dan, it's important. That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> For me, it's not there. I think there's a spirit in that that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. There is. I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't disagree with that. If I'm being objective, if I heard that, I would think those guys can't really play that well. Oh. I'm being serious though. And because the thing is, like, if you're gonna go to the punk thing, but you're gonna have the kind of groovy verse, you gotta be able to play it. And you gotta be able to get tight and then get loose with the punk thing so you can prove you can do both. Otherwise, it just sounds like you're kind of like, it's cool and it's got a spirit, but is it 
am, am I really getting the song, or is it just more of like? I think I get the song. I don't, I don't know how you can get the song. I think we can play it tight, and I think you're gonna get the juxtaposition will be even greater and more impactful as a result. To me. Let's let's, so let's get it. Let's, let's get right. it so I can sing it. In can the we next play it tight or right now? Are we doing it tonight or are we doing it tomorrow? <laughs> let's, let's, let's do it now. Let's, let's do it now. Let's get it now with the spirit. <laughs> let's, let's do it now. It now. Yeah. We knew right away that we'd have to do it over because we all have to be happy, you know. And we did it over. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Let's play this like we want to play it. Long. And it's much better and tighter and still has that energy and spirit, you know? So, it was, it was fun. That's not, that felt better. Yeah. Dude, you didn't fill up the end there? That was gnarly. <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. <laughs> it was so sick. It sounded good though, Richie? Yeah, that was, that, that was awesome. That. Guys, I'm not kidding. That was the best one. I think that might have been the best one. Yeah, that felt really tight. Yeah. I'm glad we did that. I think, I think that we ended up kind of reining it in, but I'm glad that we kind of went through that experience of like, let's, let's just do it, push it to the boundary, see where we're at, you know? That's kind of a theme of this band is like, let's push it, see where we're at, and then let's reevaluate. I think we needed to go down that, that path. We did it and that's, that's how we got the take. It was fun. It's always like the ones that you don't want to do that like turn out to be the best, you know? Once we started it, it's like, this is so good. And that, that's like a perfect thing, like Hannah's soul, like damn, I remember when we wrote the song, he just wrote that bass line. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And then like within a minute of the band coming in and playing it, she just started singing that exact melody with those exact lyrics. Like she didn't write shit down. It's just like, this is the song, here it comes, I'm throwing this up, you know? We started doing it, I just like started screaming, and honestly, that was the first time I heard myself scream. But I was just screaming about how the world is like changing and everything's disappearing. <laughs> like I, the record stores aren't here anymore, and the liquor stores aren't here anymore, and nobody meets up anymore, and everyone's on their phones all the time, and I was just like in a state of frustration. But the song kind of came out of that. It, that's when I started being like, oh, I can like write from a place that makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that was pretty dope. Yeah. All alone, I was walking by. I didn't even know we had a secret. Yeah. All our friends, they've been telling lies. I didn't. We're just starting she it. Look. Tomorrow. tomorrow! I can't wait to see you. I like I miss her, but then it's also nice to be able to completely give myself to what we're doing. But there's like I always feel like I'm missing something. I'm like, Hi oh. Willows. I'm about to go in and sing, and this is gonna be your new favorite song. I mean she's part of us, you know? Yeah. She's our little crew. It's honestly magical. She's working right now. I mean, mommy can call you back. You're still gonna be awake. Okay. You can wait ten minutes. I'm such a miss, my friend. Hannah's really come into her own, and she's singing lead in like eighty percent of them. She's discovered her voice while we were writing these songs, and we were all just like, "Holy shit! What the fuck is that?" That's amazing sounding. Like normally I sing, you know, like lead maybe on one or two songs. I mean, we don't really think of things that way, but I was, when we were listening back, I was just like, damn, I'm singing all these songs. The goal is to grow, right? And so every album I got a stronger sense of who I was, and now here I am kind of, you know, doing this. This is me. This is like the first time I really feel like there's a body work that represents me. I took 
10 years personally to get to the place where I can write from like just a stream of consciousness, like from my subconscious where I'm not like intimidated or embarrassed, which is like the point of being an artist is like developing. Okay, on the, on the second one. Part of it is all of us discovering the power of what Hannah can bring to the table in this way, in this new way of singing, which, which just fits her register and stuff so well. For the first like five or six years, this band didn't even know what my voice was. Like I wasn't a singer. So I was just doing harmonies and like learning how to stand on stage and like just be myself that way. So then to find my voice, which really came during this songwriting time, you know, it had been like developing, but this was really like, this is a collection of songs where my voice is, but people are like, dude, this sounds like you. And I'm like, I know. I even like last night when it was like 4 a.m. and we're all sitting on the deck and it was just the band. And I was like, yeah, I know this isn't ever, this hasn't ever come up and we never talked about it, but like, is everyone comfortable that I'm singing lead on all these songs? Like, and, and Andrew was like, dude, I never even thought about that till right now. And Christian was like, dude, this is what you've been working towards is like getting to a place where you have, like you found your voice. It's really amazing when the person you love and your soulmate steps in and just like does it better than you can, you're like, hell yeah, this is incredible. You know, please sing as much as you want. I'm gonna enjoy, you know, just playing guitar and. It's super like supportive and beautiful and, and we all feel like this is our, I mean, this is our project. There's no like moment where someone's idea and stuff isn't completely 100% accepted and like involved. If there is a song where like my voice wasn't cutting through, we would talk about that, you know? Hannah! That was dope, that was, dude. that was so good. There's only one part you keep, like, staggering on. It's the second part of the first verse. It's the second part of the first verse. Okay. Turn the drums up, baby. Oh my god, do you like drums? We're trying all the way down. And we're all having the best time, like, and that's the most important thing to me. You're just like the air. You are just the wind, yeah. You blow me away now. We're so far away now We're living in the dream, yeah Not the what it seems, no That don't really matter, no We'll go far away All my life I love the scene I've always been bad, but just got me now Now I'm down to drink the gasoline Now I'm never go We just fed off the energy of each other at like the perfect time in our lives, in our career. And these are the songs that came out of it. So you can't like, you don't, you don't fuck with that. Like Hannah feels like we were giving this like gift from like the spirits or like some God, like someone like gave us these songs to tell us it's okay. You guys still, you know, you're okay. Yeah. Keep doing this. Keep doing what you need to do. That's cool. Yeah. And everything else comparatively felt more clinical. And like on these, there's just, we didn't think at all. Like they just, they just appeared. The lyrics came, like everything happened together. The fact that it, they kind of were all bird that way, it's just like, there was an effortlessness and it was just really playful the whole time and really like, I think showed how, personally as like a songwriter, how comfortable I am with these guys, like with my best friends. Like I, like you know Shout, Shout is like a crazy dark personal song and it was like so, emotional to write, but I was in a room with these guys that were just kind of like, let's, like they were just supporting the whole experience. It was almost like, I think it took like four hours of jamming for that song to come out, but it was like the best therapy I've ever experienced in my life. And then when I sang it in this room, I was, I was just like crying and singing, it was crazy. To like get something out that was so subconscious, like some pain and like put that out and then be able to share it and 
I think when people listen to it, like when Andy was in here the other night, he's like, yo, I'm getting on that song. And he came in and just put, like, he's screaming on it. Like, everyone has that thing. And then when Christian and Andrew came in with, like, you are not alone, and it was like this heat, like, it was like we went to church. <laughs> like, it was pretty incredible. Like, he's screaming on it, like everyone has that thing. And it's just a release for everyone. And to be able to write music like that, that just comes from a place that's beyond words, like that's where it came from. It came from like a dark space in me that like needed to heal. It's not like the easiest song for me to listen to because I honestly don't really understand where it comes from. But like it felt so good to sing. And like that space with these guys is like, that's where this music was created. It's just like this super safe space to explore. And that's where this album was written. And I've never written from there before. I think that's what end my last vocal here. Kind of crazy. How do you feel? Summer camp's over. <laughs> <laughs>